<laughs> Here we are with Jan. A solid day at the office and nothing much to prove. Is that what you felt? Well, uh, I'd say it's like my more or less, you, you know, one could argue, but it's like fourth game in a row with the same mm -hmm. uh, very, I would say, boring scenario. Yeah, so basically it's like, uh, okay, the first, uh, the first day I lost, but this game, you know, doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Second day I won, then, okay, it was uh, an awful game against Linear, but uh, I managed to draw, and then it's like four games which, uh, I mean, basically they could happen like, I don't know, in, in, in every tournament, like a very time control, but it like was all quite a boring draws. So like, for example, today it's like a theoretical draw. Uh, I can, okay, I can understand Shakriar is not like, in, probably was not in the mood, you know, you know to challenge uh, me in, you know, in, uh, in any principled line, so that's quite understandable. Yeah, having like, okay, this, uh, not a perfect score, but um, yeah, also I, I had feeling like, yes, uh, for example, yesterday was, yeah, like Fabiano uh, picked the line which is not very, you know, doesn't suit him too, too well and not, not really the, the line you don't really expect from him. Yes, yeah, so like uh, trying to make a draw in a worse position without a pawn. Okay, I, I, I mean, we, we we both know it's a draw, but um, I would expect, you know, this line from uh, Rapport against whom I played the game, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, but Rapport didn't keep, but his opening did, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. So, well, of course, it's a little bit frustrating, but still two, two more games. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. We know that you're a fighting player. Does it bother you to make these kind of draws? Uh, I would say uh, I have no, no, no problem, you know, no, no, no problems at all with the, you know, with the sequence of draws. Uh, but uh, the problem is most likely my, perhaps, okay, uh, one cannot be sure, but perhaps my last tournament uh, in classical before, before the match, yeah, because I'm not seeing, like, being invited somewhere, like, to Icon's there or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate, but, uh, yeah, maybe, you know, when you play less, you train more, yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, the match is still pretty far away. Have you been given any kind of more or less dates? Uh, no, not really. So it's, uh, okay, they say it's April, May, so probably, yeah, the second half of, of, of April. Okay, perfect. Uh, did you know there's a punishment for people that finish too early? <laughs> sure. Yes. You have, to, you have to come here and analyze yeah. it with us now. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what your thoughts are, your Greenfield player. Uh, it seems like in this particular position, the engines think it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Do you mm. think that there's any possibility you, for pressure? Yeah, beware of using engine, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I thought it's always, it was always critical like to play 9b5 instead of... Uh, and instead of 9b3? In this position, 9b5. But you know, when you have uh, like uh, Peter Swidler, you know, in the commentators, uh, yeah, well, maybe it's a little bit, you know, too much to ask me like as a Greenfield expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I'm not playing uh, Greenfield for quite some time. But yeah, this is a line I played for so many times. Uh, I think from, from, from both in sides. Particular, okay, in particular, the line. Bishop is a known repetition, but uh, yeah, Bishop exactly. 6 94 Bishop C8. Right. Uh, but uh, I think after Bishop B6 white also. Can you know can try different things and again nine b three is just playable, so the, surely what benefits Maxim in this position that's like it's the Greenfield from the both colors here. So yes, absolutely. <laughs> symmetrical Greenfield and perhaps he has slightly better experience here. But uh, yeah, okay, this knight on e six looks a little bit misplaced, and if you know if Black won't want to do something quickly about it, it would be just slowly you know get worse and worse because okay you okay they say three pawn and a seven pawn I, I think in like especially in the symmetrical structure with uh, quite some you know time advantage I mean tempi advantage for white it's yeah it could be quite something yeah so the position maybe is far from from being trivial but I would say it's quite unpleasant for black is as, as, a, as what I see now okay uh White, black just played the move bishop e6. We have the move queen c2. Seems to be a novelty. It seems like the only games they got here did go knight d2. Queen c2 seems very logical to me, however. Mm -hmm. um, queen c2 is like you don't trade off the queens here. Right. Just try to <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, yeah. question, the question has to be if they play bishop f5 here, do we go bishop e4? Like, what's right. our. Right. I think well, so. surely, I think it, it's between like, okay, queen d2 is not. I mean, I'm not sure queen d2 is improvement comparing to queen d1, yes. Yeah, so exactly. I can even go bishop e6 back. Decides to trade the queens here. Yeah. So yeah, bishop before is logical. Okay, sometimes also knight e4 would would take you know, it's probably not as bad like knight e4 because knight e4 I think queen b3 it's you mean take here and then knight no 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 I mean immediately I play knight e4 immediately uh huh uh, ah here okay some some tricks yeah coming the knight a5 because I thought knight e4 queen d3 okay knight e5 is uh, yeah surely the move which would be found in a second yeah 
surely. Uh, yeah. So, okay, bishop e4, but, uh, well, sometimes you just uh, have to, you know, to say goodbye to this, uh, you know, Catalan Grufel bishop, yeah, but uh, instead of this, you are getting all these, like, brilliant uh, pieces, yeah, like, um, I mean, every, every piece from white is active, and rook d1 is coming, so this is... Yeah, rook d1 is coming, queen in the center, yeah, this bishop's really nice. Yeah, by the way, by the way, it's like, it's, it's a big difference, uh, big difference in how, like, the queens are placed, so, like, mm -hmm. queen on e4 is probably, like, Arguably the most dominant square for the queen, yeah. And a hard structure. To kick. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit. Are you familiar with this endgame? Yeah, this I played against Lev in uh, Blitz. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's, it's, in his chess com Blitz Championship, so mm -hmm. Blitz Championship or something. And uh, I really thought it's like some some sort of throwaway prep because it's. Uh, no, I mean, I, I didn't know what to play against Burial, so I decided to play this. Explain to our audience, what does it mean, a throwaway prep? <laughs> I mean, probably the prep you don't really expect too much of, yeah? <laughs> so even if it works like like here, yeah, clearly uh, Fabiano is more or less in, still in his book, uh, but you don't really achieve something. Yeah? So in the, I think in this particular line, it's only only one move which Black has to know is a5. Five. Because if not a5, it's, I mean, I think Black has different tries, but somehow a5 like is a very smart position in yellow, you like, White never plays for two connected pawn, pa 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 best pawns, yeah? Yeah, because you immediately... Uh, yeah, and you exchange them. it, okay, after b6, b6, I, 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 can, I can recall, like, I was analyzing his position, and I was, like, sort of excited, wow, like, finally we have something against this d5. First at Berlin, yeah? Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, you know, quite annoying, yeah? So, for example, like, you get, let's say, Italian-type structure if, like, it's not going for d5, but d5 is more or less a try to make a draw by force, uh, which, uh, however, as far as I know, for, for the current situation, it's not refuted, yes. No. Not yet. And okay, this was one of the tries. And I played against him uh, the line, and I think, I think against him maybe I got slightly better position, but then okay, some, maybe a blunder to rook or a pawn or, or a bishop. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's a pretty know, some, some, some drawback of playing some, you know, some prep uh, in, in a blitz tournament, yeah? Especially online. We don't have blitz uh, games here. Uh, how did the game go? Was it exactly this variation all the way to a5? Yeah, oh, no, no. Uh, I think it was like king c2 for sure. Maybe, maybe I played king b2. There are two moves, basically. King right, c2 king and king c2. b2. Uh -huh. So here, uh, if someone has chess base or, I don't know, someone landed a base, surely you would, you would find this. We'll take a look. Or, uh, yeah, or maybe, m maybe search it at, like... Uh, uh, I chose let, me, let, me give, well. let me give me a second. We got Peter on it. Uh, and then we only have one game left. Do dabble on the knight or give us your uh, thoughts on this position. Uh, I think it used to be quite a line which probably Petr again, against, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, again, Peter himself played this against Bilshuk, I think. Yeah, yeah, yes. we discussed it. And, but it was like 2000, what, 2007? Something Seven, like that, but yeah. it did go into move Queen F3, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, okay, it's, it's, it's very difficult, you know, to surprise uh, Linear even with some, you know, very, very odd sequence of moves. And okay, this idea, I, th I think it also was played like Gushuk. I mean, Nakamura played this against Gushuk in some uh, Moscow Grand Prix. Right. In 2017, I think. A very good memory, yes. Yeah, because I played there and played miserably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because uh, only thing I had, to, only thing was left for me is like, uh, you know, witness other players, yeah, in action. <laughs> well, you're starting to learn Yeah, but, uh, yeah, because, okay, I think I also, I also played against Hikaru Samnaidorf and uh, he didn't go for this line against me. He played some bishop g5. So, well, I, I don't know, clearly, so they finally started, you know, to think, right? Well, think, yeah. Lanier hasn't. He's spent only a couple of minutes, but he doesn't well, blitz say, out. I would say it reads a little bit, you know, uh, reminds me of the line which uh, Ali Reza played against me in Madrid, uh, because mm -hmm. objectively the line is good and computer yeah, approves, you know, it's stamp, yes. yeah, computer right. approves. But his position uh, collapsed but, you know, very no, quickly. It's very, it's very, I mean, humanly, it's, for, in my opinion, yeah, I mean, even here, yeah, it's slightly, slightly, slightly easier to play as white. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, okay, you always have two pieces, and you, you have your, you know, your your goal is quite clear. And of course, like if we, you know, remove the queens, it's. I mean, when we say the goal is quite clear, remember we have a big audience. Ah, okay. Uh, give a minute. Very good. Very <laughs> good. Clear, very yeah, good goal. Yeah, that, they say that, that that's that, that's the way to win a, chess, uh, a game of chess. Yeah. Yes. So here, okay, the king is exposed, and as for me, I would not I would not be sure that much about you know castling kingside uh, upon queenside. I would say that probably. You know, queen side to me would be more logical because then you can come up with some I don't know h5, mm -hmm. h5 g4. But maybe it's like the same problem because okay, rook b1 and white quickly, yeah, you know, quickly brings all the pieces into something play. Something like this, 93 rook b1. Yeah. So probably the position is all right for black, yeah, you know, mathematically. But uh, once again, um, when you're out of your book, okay, when your knowledge is 
uh, okay, probably can you the position until maybe the castle or something comes here. Mm -hmm. Okay, probably okay. You can make a couple of moves like rook f4, rook f8. I mean, okay, very very helpful errors here. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, white plays king g2, queen d3. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah, I can um, I uh, I can only play by by reading the errors. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Now it says for example h4. Yeah. No, but it does very look smart. dangerous. Very smart. No, Queen yeah, okay. still the best it's, move. It's, 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 very, it's very, I mean, easy yeah, for white. So you just, with every next move, you create another threat. And mm -hmm. that's how you basically deal with this position. Because, of course, if, like, if black gets his time, like, uh, makes sure, okay, the king is secure, like, uh, I don't know, uh, takes, like, some key squares from white, yeah, like, uh, by moving deep pawn or maybe, okay, creating some passive pawn on, on the queen side, which is, all, well, I mean, already in an realistic scenario. Then okay, then like surely like has an upper hand, but for now it's like very very concrete position, and what White wants is like yeah, all right. Well, just yeah. open up open up things and I uh, found, see what happens. Yeah, on on the topic of the Italian, I found if it's only one game you played against Lev, you you did indeed kind of blunder upon at the very very beginning <laughs> there, uh, because uh, the the game I found did not even feature knight e five d five. There's a game where Young played king c two instead of knight takes e five there. Ah, yeah, probably, probably, yeah, because, uh, yeah, maybe I thought, uh, but I well, would say that blunder is maybe bishop a strong word. transpose. Yeah, knight c4, bishop c1, bishop takes f2, and uh, the game continued from there. White definitely has compensation here, but... No, I mean, this is, this is somehow, this is somehow better for white, I can recall, but, yeah, I think in case of, if he would took, uh, to take one f2, it's just, I mean, a draw, which is... Which is I, I thought, okay, if black knows e5, it's relatively simple, <laughs> but, yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you for all that analysis. That was certainly covered the games we have left. Uh, hope that we see some great chess coming up in the next two rounds. Mm, I hope so. I thank hope. you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, guys. Thank you, Jan, for uh, taking over our job. I like.